After a series of powerful earthquakes struck southern Japan, the search and rescue team in the Kumamoto prefecture is racing against the clock to find one more survivor to save one more life as the 72-hour window after the quake dries up. But even for those, uh, the tens of thousands of survivors, it's a war zone in the disaster hit areas. Everything from food shortages to contagious diseases spreading quickly at evacuation shelters. Our Kim Jong Soo sets the scene for us. A 2,500 member coalition of Japanese military, police, and firefighting forces are upping their efforts to find nine missing people from the rubble left by devastating earthquakes in Kumamoto Prefecture. Experts say that when the 72 hour limit terminates at 1 a.m. of April 19th, the possibility of survival for the missing individuals will likely drop to near zero. Although the first earthquake took place on April 14th, it was two days later when a subsequent quake initiated a substantial landslide in the Kumamoto region. As of today, nine are currently missing and 42 people have been killed, with more than 1,000 people injured. But it appears that Kumamoto has yet another problem to handle, as two men who have been taking refuge in earthquake shelters have been diagnosed with norovirus, also known as the winter vomiting bug. The patients have now been quarantined and are undergoing treatment according to Kumamoto's local government task force. The highly contagious virus, usually transmitted through contaminated water or person-to-person -person contact, can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The city of Kumamoto has said that the local task force will take all measures necessary to prevent a further spread of the disease. But that is easier said than done, as local news reports have said that an estimated 35,000 households are without power and 270,000 without water supply. I realize the significance of the situation as the days go by. The water has stopped. Without proper hygiene secured, the risks of our norovirus epidemic are considerably high. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he will increase the number of troops to 25,000 and has also accepted a U.S. offer to help with air transportation in the rescue efforts. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.